we are in Switzerland. It's my first trip to Switzerland. I've never been to Switzerland before. And can I say, as someone from London, I am incredibly embarrassed to be here because <laughs> your shit works. Um, <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, I, I, I had to get a train yesterday from Zurich to Basel and back again. And, it, you know, it, it, look, your trains are so nice in comparison to ours. Every time I get a train in the UK, I have to check several things. I have to check it's not on strike. Uh, I have to check it hasn't been cancelled. And I have to check it hasn't been turned into a bus. Right? <laughs> Sometimes all three happen at the same time. This is true, we are building a new high-speed train link in our country. It's already taken 10 years to plan it, it's going to take another 20 years to complete. And they said the other day that they might be changing where it goes, because it's meant to go from London to the north of England. They're saying it's now going to only go halfway up the country, so just to one place, to Birmingham in the middle of England. And it's also potentially not even going to go to London, it's going to stop five miles outside London. So our only high-speed rail network will go from the middle of nowhere <laughs> to the middle of sort of nowhere, right? <laughs> it's very embarrassing to be here, I'll be honest. I, having said that though, um, I, both of the trains that I went on yesterday did have problems. The first train uh, from Zurich to Basel, halfway through the journey, about halfway, it just stopped in the middle of a sort of field somewhere for quite a long time. Uh, and everyone was going, what's going on? Uh, and then the, then the announcements happened, right? And um, of course the announcements happened in three languages. <laughs> we would not do that in the UK, right? <laughs> No, our, our announcements are barely in one language, I'll be honest. Our, it's always just like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> There's been a problem with the <laughs> shark. <laughs> Please avoid the <laughs> <laughs> or you could be <laughs> dead. And <laughs> crocodiles have <laughs> <laughs> We're afraid that the next train has <laughs> dissolved. <laughs> so I was sitting on this train waiting for my announcement, because I obviously they do the English announcement third to make us know that we're in the wrong place, basically, right? <laughs> and for the first two announcements, the German announcement and the French announcement, there were people around me chuckling. They were sort of going, <laughs> <laughs> and it was so annoying to sit there going, what's the joke? <laughs> Tell me the joke, right? Eventually got to the English announcement and it said, very sorry, everybody, um, I'm afraid the train has stopped because there's been a technical problem and the driver is gonna have to try and reset the train, right? And what that involves is turning the train off and turning it on again, <laughs> like it's an iPad, <laughs> right? And it worked, the, it, like the train sort of went zzz, zzz, and it was fine, right? And I thought, God, that wouldn't happen in the UK. And then on the way back, um, we had to get a train from uh, Basel back to Zurich, and we had one which was changing, changing in Alton, right? Uh, and again, the first train was a bit delayed, and I was getting a bit panicked, so I was looking at the watch thinking, hang on, this is a problem, because this first train is only, there's quite a short connection time to the next train, and if we miss it, I don't know when the next connection is, I'm not sure, I don't want to be stuck somewhere, I don't know, right, in a foreign country. But I, I realised that I was the only person panicking in that everyone else around was very cool, very chilled out. And I worked out why, because when we got to the station, you all know this already, there was an announcement in two languages as before, right? Uh, they, they fucked the French off for that one, right? Uh, <laughs> no French people are travelling late at night, it turns out, right? Um, but yeah, there was an announcement telling us that, that, that they'd held the connecting trains, and they even told us which platform the connecting trains were on, so we just got off and went to the connections. And I just thought, again, this is so embarrassing, because in the UK, if a train is slightly late for your connection, you are on your own, right? <laughs> and if for some reason you're a foreigner visiting our country and you don't understand our, our announcements, you don't deserve to live. That's the thing, right? <laughs> 